Hello beautifuls, welcome back to another episode of Tried and Tested. Now, do you remember a while ago we did an episode on hair tools and it received overwhelming response? So a lot of you have written in asking us to feature more and we are here at Girl Hairdo and I'll be meeting the owner Sherry Grace. Grace Sherry, which one? And she'll be showing us more stuff. Let's go. We are back with Sherry Grace. Grace Sherry. Hello. How are you? I'm good. Miss us? Yes, a lot. <laughs> awesome, what am, I learning, what am I learning today? Highlights and uh, ponytails. Oh, nice. Wow, so this super long ponytail, you're going to put that on my hair? Yeah. Okay, see right, the highlights here are actually removable. So if you don't highlight, you don't need highlights. If you want to change the colour, you have so many options. You have purple, blue, you have silver, and guess what? This one comes with like feathers. And also, they have like a curly version with highlights. See this? Isn't that exciting? You can like have a different hairstyle every single day. Don't need to colour your hair, don't need to do anything. I love this, love it. Okay, I'm gonna go with the straight one because my hair is very straight today. So, let's go. Okay, I'm gonna tie your hair up into a high ponytail now. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, there's like this hook thing here. So, is this supposed to go into here? You must slide the hook into the rubber band, not the hair. So now, you just tie the ribbon. Oh, wow. I feel like there's another, like, an animal on my head or something. <laughs> but it's so cool because we like, check this out. I feel like I need to go find a catwalk now, so they can just like, vote down. <laughs> Love it. Eh, hey, but then, how do I, what's this? You can like, use if I want to cover this? This this is a rubber band made of hair. Okay. So you can use this to cover. So when we tie, Try to use the rubber band to tie instead of the hair. Oh, right. Otherwise, if you pull too hard, the hair might break. So, you really can't see anything now. See? Have a look. Oh my goodness, this is so cool. And you know what? When your hair, right, with the original ponytail, like the one with your hair, is super close to your scalp, actually, you don't really feel the weight. Because you don't feel the weight of the extra hair. And it's very secure. So my rating for this would be 9 out of 10. You know why I love it so much? Because I can change my hairstyle like that. And I can change my hair like every day. I can grow my hair in two minutes, which is great. And okay, one small tiny gripe I have about this is that okay, if you look very closely, you can tell that the hair is incredibly shiny. And for normal people like us, our hair is not so shiny. So you can tell that it's a little bit fake. But I am told that this is a new piece and the shine will drop after a while. So I love this, 9 out of 10. Okay, so we're back and we have here a comb pin. And this is like an alternative to the normal bobby pin. And also we have the bumpets. Now the problem with the bumpet is that for some people, if your hair is too fine or, you know, for whatever reason, it doesn't stay. Now we have this comb pin to help keep it in place. So here's how it works. So you put this here, then you flip this over. You take this, twist it a little bit. So you're going to take this, the sharp end, and you're going to stick it in your hair in the opposite direction. So, like this. Right? And it should feel quite secure. Actually, it feels very secure. Okay, so we experimented a little bit, as you do with new tools, and we found that, okay, you see, your hair is like this, right? And sometimes people like to make it go like this. But what happens is either you use a lot of gel and it starts wearing off like halfway through the day or you use a bobby pin. But what happens if with a bobby pin is that you can see a line here and a line here, correct? So we found that if you use this, you can do, okay, opposite direction of your hair. You just push it backwards and it holds. Love it. Oh, one more thing that you can do with this. Okay, take this out. Very easy to remove, by the way. I'm going to take this like a little bit and twist it. And then I'm going to take this, again, opposite direction, and hold it in place. There we go. So again, you don't need to use the bobby pin, which would leave like, or to like, take the whole thing and like, flatten it in. Or a U-pin might be the least obvious, but that sometimes takes a little bit of skill and a little bit of getting used to. But this is... Relatively simple and it just, it's again, it's again because uh, it was separate at the bottom and give you like the slightly comey look which is like a bit more textured than a U-pin which is great. So I would give this an 8 and a half out of 10 because in terms of holding the hair in place, not always fantastic but in creating new looks, not bad. So 8 and a half. Okay, we're back and as you can tell, Sherry Grace, Grace Sherry has transformed her hair into a bob. 
And you know what she used? She used this. It's called a bob maker. It's quite popular these days, is it? Uh, it's very popular and we actually receive a lot of emails on how to use this. Oh, you see? Receive emails, so I'm going to show you. Okay, so one thing to know, it's very hard to use this if your hair is super layered, which is what my hair is, right? Because her hair is very thick, but she can still do it. And so, yeah. So we're going to show you on this head. Uh, you hold it into a ponytail, unclip both clips, open it, put the hair through, slide it down halfway, you just turn. Turn, turn, turn. For the ends, you can just push it back in. For this clip, you push it, push inside here. You just press it against your head. Okay, so if you notice what she did, right? She pulled this back further than where the hair was supposed to end and then she clipped it and so it provides a little bit of resistance. So when it gets ready, then it like falls over very nicely. I will rate this. Oh, you know how I am with hair things. If you give me a different look like that, I rate very high ones. So I will give this an eight and a half because I think it's. A, I'll take a bit of work getting used to this, right? I need to practice. You need to practice. Mm. See, if you're hardworking, eight point five. If you're not, don't bother. <laughs> Okay, we've come to the end of another fantastic episode. Thank you, Shami Grace. <laughs> Before you go, I'd like to give you this. The looper. Okay, so I've seen this in a lot of YouTube videos, so I'm going to try and show you. This, put this through, and I pull this. Ta-da! <laughs> So cool! Okay, thank you very much, Sherry Grace. Thank you. <laughs> thank you guys for watching. We hope you learned something. Okay, if you want to find out more about the products, Facebook page. If you want to leave comments, down below. Alright, thank you very much. Mwah! Be beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> she learns. <laughs>